Jaden Animations, as I understand it, typically covers what I would consider to be lighthearted things, Pokemon, video games, animation. It's my understanding that she is a VTuber of sorts that, like I do on my other channel, her persona is reflected by a cartoon on screen, for example, and that Jaden likes to have fun with her channel and all her activities online. Well, I started seeing some Christians get quite upset about Jaden Animation and wanting to cancel her. And so I needed to look up exactly what it was that Jaden Animation had done that made the Christians so angry. And let's take a look and see how, see if we agree. I've emerged from an egg in a place where there was nothing. Then it shaped the world. Yeah. And the lions would destroy it. Okay. So unfortunately, I have yet to find the full context of this clip, even though I've looked for it. But based on this slight introduction, so Jaden's co-host, who unfortunately I do not know his name, is discussing a video game scenario. It's my, I'm From context, it seems like a video game scenario where there was, in the context of the game or the story that they were telling, there's an, a world-shaping egg in it of supernatural origin. And Jaden just suggested that, well, perhaps this supernatural egg would just quite quickly be eaten by a lion. This sounds like the normal fun kind of, you know, discussion that two friends would have discussing their favorite anime or video games, right? You're going along with what the world says and uh, the rules of the world and just seeing if it makes sense, bouncing off the ideas. Totally get this. Dave and I, Dave, my co-host on Toast to Toast, do this all the time. So far, so good. You can't you know, just, God you isn't can't as powerful just say as that. The, the people killed Jesus, Schlatt. Okay. The people killed Jesus is her response to her, Schlatt, I guess is his name trying to object that he didn't think that a lion was going to be able to destroy the world-killing egg. And Jaden, I think an apt comparison, at least not, and not a disrespectful one, was able to say, hey, you know, divine beings, there's a history, whether it's historical or merely in literature, of a divine being like Jesus coming to earth and, and getting destroyed. And, you know, the mortal creatures reckon them. So again, I think we're on side. I don't think she's going along with the Christian mythology at this point. So I don't, I don't think we have a problem here yet. Let me know in the chat. Are, is this problematic yet? I cannot believe you just said that. He got crucified. You're bringing up the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's my favorite part. You're bringing up the crucifixion, the crucifixion of Jesus. So I don't know how upset he really is if he doesn't know the word crucifixion. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not sure how strong a Christian he is there. But again, I don't think Jaden was disrespectful. She was within light of one mythology to another. Mortal creatures can destroy a divine creature. That's been established. All right. And then he, and he gets upset. It goes off the rails from here. You think God is this all, oh, no one can kill God? Oh, look at him three days later. He ran away like a little bitch. He came. Oops. <laughs> all right. So the co-host was trying, going to make me counter. Well, the humans didn't really destroy him. He, he rose three days later, and that was going to be his counterpoint to lions killing this egg. No, but she went a different way. According to Jaden, Jesus didn't rise from the dead. Jesus ran away like a little bitch. Her words. All right. The life. He ran away. Up to God, way away. I couldn't fight the human. They said flood. <laughs> All right. This is, again, Keep in mind that this is a fun podcast talking about games and that kind of thing. But in her head canon about how Jesus, what happened to Jesus, the humans killed him and he just, and he tucked tail and went back to heaven and basically went to daddy and was upset that obviously his soul didn't die at this point in, in, in her version of the story. <laughs> Rather than fight back, like she imagined that a divine being would do, this divine being was just defeated, took his ball and went home. Interesting take on the mythology. I mean, in the context, it makes sense. They sent pestilence. They sent locusts. Well, we're... <laughs> so now he, he's conflating all this stuff. So he's, he seems to be indicating that he thinks that the humans caused the floods and the plagues and the pestilence. Uh, of course, that was God sending all those things, as Jaden rightfully recognized. Still here? Where's God? He fuck up every human. If... Jaden? Yeah, God sent all these things. And in her destruction of a weather in the story of mortals versus immortals, 
even in the Bible, hey, humans are still standing. You sent the flood. You sent the pestilence. We're still here. God doesn't defeat us. We're still standing. You're God. If you're Where's God, God Schlad? The humans are here. Where's God? He's still scared. He's not scared. God isn't scared. Yes. You should be scared of God. He's coming back soon. You ever heard of the rapture? Define the rapture. It's when God is going to come back and, and judge the living and the dead. When's he coming back? Some people say soon. How long have they been saying soon? Thousands of years, maybe. I don't know. It, it's been, Earth has been around for a while. Well, the, the lions are only... All right, and then they return to their discussion of whether lions can eat, eat these divine eggs. All right, so I found that highly amusing. <laughs> Again, I think it's not going to take many decades for Marvel Comics or somebody to start treating Jesus mythology in the same way that they treat Norse mythology or Greek mythology, the way Disney does with Hercules, etc., and that it will become acceptable to talk about these Christian stories as if they were myths and take artistic liberties among them. And it's not an uncharitable description of the stories from her perspective. So anyway, the Christians want to cancel Jaden animation. This was a couple of weeks ago. Now I was on the road when that happened. So I haven't, it's, it seems like Christians are still quite angry at this video. A bunch of responses are happening, but it seems like Jaden is going to be okay. Quite a large channel anyway. So if, if you support Jaden, if you think that was funny, I think it was hilarious and great banter. I don't think it was disrespectful to the Bible, frankly. I, her whole point was that in the Christian narrative, sometimes humans can foil God's plans. And that's absolutely true. God didn't want to flood the world. He didn't want us to eat from the fruit of good and evil, all these kind of things. So I, th I think the Christians are overreacting here and they're upset for no reason. Let me know what you think in the comments.